Okay, now take the rig outside of the ravine. We've got work to do. Hopefully all of Eisenberg's men are massing on the Corona ship or on the Nevik cruiser docked to it. We've got to act fast before they smell the trap. I don't know, boss. Even with the element of surprise, we don't have the manpower for a frontal assault. I know, Jim. That's why we're scuttling the whole shebang. I've set charges at the key structural points, keeping the Corona stable. If it goes down, so does the cruiser. And so does Eisenberg and his whole wretched army. Are you serious? Less effort to keep Coronas from falling into the ravine, now we're gonna knock her down on purpose? It's the only way to save our crew and the survivors from the first colony. But first, you're gonna have to destroy the moorings. Pretty crazy wrong, boss. Listen, Jim. There's no future for Coronas. I saw the writing on the wall when Eisenberg marched in that so-called snow pirate girl right in front of our crew. After all the lives they've been willing to sacrifice to keep their secrets, what's that tell you? My men mean nothing to them. Just more witnesses to a race. If I can't give you anything else, I owe you a fighting chance. That's all of them. Good work, Jim. Now take the elevator up to Delta. Make sure everyone's safe. Wait, aren't you at Delta too? I'll see you there, Phil. Right? Jim, don't blame yourself for any of this. You were right to hide them from me. I couldn't have protected them. I couldn't even protect Bonnie. So much loss I can never undo. But I can do something. What are you talking about, boss? Just meet me at Delta. We'll work everything out. Phil? Braddock, do you copy?
boss. What's going on? Braddock, where are you? I'm right where I need to be, Jim. Braddock? What's that mean? King Fisher, squad's convened Corona side on your order. Nobody's here. What? I did not give that order. Get out of there! Do you hear me? Get the hell out! Forgive me. Braddock, where's the old man? He went down on the ship. What? Why? It was a ruse. He lured them in. The Nevek troops, they're all gone. He saved us. Damn it, Braddock, why did you do that? You need to lie to me just one last time. How the hell are you gonna take care of my family now? Jim? Gracie. called in every last favor to get them free of Eisenberg. He gave her a choice. She insisted on coming here. I just had to be there to intercept the drop. Nice to see a plan work out for once. Where's our little boy? <laughs> the snow cat's still groggy from the cry of sleep. God, he's never gonna recognize me. Look, Gracie, you know this place ain't safe. It shouldn't be. Shh. We're together now. We're gonna stay that way. You got it? Whatever comes, we're facing it together. No regrets. There's so much to tell you. Peyton! Peyton! Doc, hang on. Colonel Eisenberg is still at large. He knows all about Nushi. He's going there now. He's got a military rig and my revised prototype. Wait, the Agrid go berserk device? Well, that can't be good. He thinks he can use it to control Agrid, resonating his signal through Nushi. Influencing Acrid all over the planet. But that's crazy, isn't it? He won't be able to use all the frequencies at first, but through trial and error, I expect he'll figure out at least enough to kill us all. I'm gonna pass out now. Gail, Mirror, get back to that satellite relay and blow it to hell. Are you serious? This place is ours to protect now. Can't stop Eisenberg. Calling for backup is gonna be his first move. Go, now! Home sweet home. Come back to me. Always. <laughs> <laughs> 